Have you ever been dress coded? No. Have you ever been dress coded? Yes. For what? Um, well, I was wearing this nice flowy long sleeve, you know, shirt with a nice little scarf. It's looking really nice because it's, you know, fall and it's winter and I'm just, you know, like trying to keep the style up. Oh my God. And then it's like to the side because, you know, that's the style. And I got dress coded because I was showing too much skin. Where? On my shoulder. Have you ever been dress coded? No. Have you ever been dress coded? Yeah, uh, freshman year I wore this black like knitted cardigan and I had a t-shirt underneath it to kind of cover up and they said that I you could see too much skin on like my arms and my shoulder blades and I had to go put on a PE shirt. Have you ever been dress coded? No. Have you ever been dress coded? Yeah. For what? Shirt. Have you ever been dress coded? No. Have you ever been dress coded? Yeah. For what? Um, a halter top, like upper back. Have you ever been dress coded? No. Have you ever been dress coded? Yes. For what? I was wearing a cape. And why did you get dress coded for that? It was considered a distraction to the learning environment. Have you ever been dress coded? Nope. Have you ever been dress coded? Yes. For what? For like off the shoulder and they told me that I was too distracting. Have you ever been dress coded? Uh, never, of course not. Have you ever been dress coded? Yes. For what? For having my shorts being too short. Have you ever been dress coded? No. Have you ever been dress coded? Yes. For what? Um, shorts and my shirt. And what about your shirt? Uh, midriff. Have you ever been dress coded? No. Have you ever been dress coded? Yeah, one time I got dress coded for wearing a tail. <laughs> Have you ever been dress coded? No. Have you ever been dress coded? Yeah. For what? Um, one day I was wearing like a shirt that was like hanging off my shoulder and it was like showing too much skin. Have you ever been dress coded? No. Have you ever been dress coded? Yes. For what? Bra strap showing. Have you ever been dress coded? No, I have not. Boys wear inappropriate things. I know we dress code them too. Um, have you ever been dress coded? I have not. Have you ever worn anything that you felt you should have been dress coded in? This outfit right here is my Halloween costume. Um, what size is that? It is a women's medium. And did you feel like you were covered up when you were wearing that? No, because my whole part of my chest was exposed and I had barely had a lot of legs showing. Did you have any teachers come up to you and say that you should be dress coded? Uh, no, I just got a bunch of strange looks. Alright. Um, what do you think the purpose of a dress code is? Yeah, I think it's to keep students um, covered and from being distracted from learning and so that everybody is looking dressed appropriately. Um, do you feel like the dress code is biased sometimes? No, just stand right here. I do feel like girls are definitely targeted more than boys. Yes. Um, do you feel like shoulder showing or straps are distracting from education? No, I, I think it's when you have no straps. Strapless can be distracting, I think, for boys. <laughs> Why is that? Because boys are very visual. And do you feel that a dress code violation prohibits a student's learning, like taking them out of class for a dress code? At that point, yes. I mean, if they're removed from the classroom, they're, they're missing information. Hopefully it's not for a long period of time, it's a quick fix, and um, other students could have a distraction from learning. If we, let, if we let anything like that go, I guess the point administration is making is that there are, there are certain degrees of dress, and if we let one thing go, then it could just get worse and, be, and become a distraction for others. The problem comes when you see a girl's undergarments too much, if you see her bra strap. What do you think the purpose of dress code is? Um, just to give a some rules and regulations to what 
Um, do you feel like shoulders, okay, yes. like a halter top or a strap showing, is distracting from education? Yes, actually, I do. Um, would this distract you if you were in school? Uh, that would not distract me. I don't see the problem with having a strap around your neck. If you saw someone wearing this in class, would it distract you? Uh, they're just shoulders. I mean, everyone has them. If a boy comes to school and he has his shoulders bare, it's the same. I think that it can be a distraction to the opposite sex. Um, do you feel like this is distracting? No, not really. No. Oh, there's a would this distract you if you were in class? Probably not. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't go to school and just be like, mmm, men, I, I go to school to learn. So. If you saw someone wearing this in class, would it distract you? Um, no, it wouldn't because, like, that's the style nowadays and everybody, a lot of guys wear that, so it would not distract you. Do you feel like a dress code violation prohibits a student's learning? Um, yeah, if some if you're the person that's distracted by it, then yes, it can distract you from listening and hearing what the okay. teacher's talking about. Would this distract you from class if someone was wearing this? Yeah, I mean it would for a minute or two, I guess, but I mean it wouldn't affect my overall learning. Um, Women yeah, wear things like that all the time and still have good grades, so. And do you think that shoulders are, distract are a distraction? Well, I don't know that, um, you know, it's a shoulder situation because your shoulders can show, it just, it, I mean, even with a tank top on, yeah. it's when they're completely bare that I think it's a distraction. So like a halter top or the tiny little straps, that's the reasoning. Um, does this distract you if you're at school? Uh, no, it does not. I feel like that is not distracting to show off shoulders because it's just a natural part of life. Hey! Dress code. High schoolers at Tottenville High School in Sat Staten Island are fighting back against the dress code there. Recently, there were a number of students that got detention after they broke the dress code. And keep in mind that it's been extremely hot in the area, so it's not that difficult to break the dress code. According to reports, um, after the school reportedly gave detention to 200 kids, 90% of whom were girls, or yes, girls, that was when the students thought, you know what, it's time to take a stand and to protest. So in an effort to protest, they're actually showing up to school wearing clothing that does break the dress code. The reason why they have a dress code is because they say that they don't want any distractions in class. So what do they do to the girls who do wear the shorts? In sweltering heat, by the way, they have them wear uh, a big baggy gym shirt and big baggy gym shorts. And so they pull them aside, tell the girls your outfit is inappropriate, shaming them in some way, right? Mm -hmm. And then having them wear a ridiculous outfit that lets everyone else in the school know, hey, she was dressed inappropriately. She was dressed in a skanky way. Right. That's a little more of a disruption than letting, ha than letting a girl wear a pair of shorts that are perfectly fine. Look, mm -hmm. I was in s schools with dress codes, right? Especially mm -hmm. in my middle school. They were very strict with dress codes. I wore shorts all the time. No one gave me a hard time about that, right? Because they're shorts. Mm -hmm. It's not that big of a deal. And, and the dress code specifically targets what girls want to wear. There's no indication that these girls are wearing shorts so short that you're seeing private parts or areas. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and look, guys don't I, wear those kind of shorts. And, so. and, and also, and I think it's insulting to both boys and girls, right? Because mm -hmm. it's letting the girl think or know that she's perceived as someone who's scantily clad or who dresses too provocatively. And it also makes it seem as though these boys can't control themselves. If they see a little bit of skin, they're going to like lose it. Mm -hmm. You know, and so it's everybody just calm down. This is more of a distraction than anything else, right? Use human judgment. If someone is dressed too provocatively, I think you know as an adult. Don't have like a hardline rule when it comes to shorts. Okay, my final ruling on this is that I need both sides to be calm. Principals, don't hand it out to 90% of the girls or whatever. It's not 90% of the girls. People affected are 90% girls. Um, on the other hand, if you got your butt cheeks hanging out, understand that the principal is going to come by and make you wear bigger shorts. Yeah. Calm down. We're not saying that there shouldn't be a dress code, it just shouldn't be biased towards girls. If guys get distracted by girls' shoulders and straps, 
then they should be taught how to be more respectful towards girls rather than the girls taking the consequences by having to disrupt an education and be taken out of class.